Alma Noon Valley in San Jose. Oh, it's one of my favorite parts of San Jose. Today I'm going to talk to you about my three pros and three cons of living in Alma Noon Valley. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley. And today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite communities in San Jose. It's Alma Noon Valley. And I'm going to talk to you about the three pros and the three cons of what it's like living there. Almond Valley is a little near and dear to my heart. I used to live there. My second child was born while we lived there. And weirdly enough, we lived on a street called Annie Lane. Annie Baker lived on Annie Lane in Almond like Valley. There. <laughs> so first, I'm going to start off with cons. So con number three. There aren't a lot of condos in Almond Valley. Some people don't think that's a big con, but it just kind of eliminates sort of certain kind of buyers that maybe want a smaller living space, maybe no yard to worry about, uh, and just a lower cost of living. Almond Valley, you're really looking at mostly single family homes and a few townhouse communities. Right now, June 2020, there are currently 25 single family homes for sale in Almond Valley, five townhomes, and no condos. There just really aren't that many. Con number two, Almond Valley is sort of tucked away, so you kind of have to drive all the way down the main, main expressway, it's called the Almond Expressway, uh, to kind of really get back in there. So it's, there's another road out, Camden, uh, that takes you out kind of to the side, and you can get out through the south down McKean Road to Bailey, but for the most part, you're kind of locked between these hills, which is beautiful because you have views of the hills everywhere, but it is kind of tucked away. So some people don't like that just to get out to freeways. You're typically looking at 10 to 15 minutes to get to a freeway to get to any other areas. And con number one, they don't have a downtown area. There's no Almond Valley main street area that you find in say Willow Glen, Campbell, Los Gatos, Mountain View. So you kind of have to drive out to one of those other towns to find that cute, charming little boutiques and restaurants and things like that. They have grocery stores and some little strip malls. There's kind of two, maybe three main strip mall areas. But for the most part, if you want to get to restaurants or boutiques, clothing stores, you have to get out to at least up to Blossom Hill to get to uh, Oak Ridge, the mall which is actually a great mall and they have a lot of options, but it's not the same as a charming downtown. So that's con number one. I think all three of those aren't even that bad, but let's get to the pros, yay! <laughs> the good stuff, why it's great to live in Almond Valley. So pro number three, low crime. There is very little crime in Almond Valley. I just did a check in the last 30 days. There have only been four calls uh, and reports by the police in all of Almond and Valley. That's great. I, I think that's part of the my con is that it's sort of tucked away. That kind of helps keep the crime low. That's great. Pro number two, lots of outdoor activities. Oh my gosh. First of all, it's just in the neighborhoods. You see people walking and biking all the time, but there are a lot of trails and hiking trails, biking trails, there's fishing. There's Almond and Quicksilver hike. Almond and Quicksilver County Park, which has a big area for park, uh, for hiking. Mine Hill Hike, so pretty. Almond and Lake Park, I mean, there's a lake for fishing. There's bike trails, walking trails, bocce courts, picnic tables. So much to do there. Here's Clara Reservoir. You can take speed boats out to go wakeboarding, wake surfing, fishing, so much. So much outdoor activity. I love it. And part of that, you're so close to nature, is that there are so many views of the hills and just a lot of trees. You kind of feel like you're out in the country in a lot of parts of Almond and Valley. But you're only about 10, 15 minutes away to get right back in Silicon Valley energy. And my number one pro is the schools. The schools are great in Almond Valley. There isn't a bad school. The, all the public schools, they have three main elementaries, maybe four. Um, depending on the borders, and two main high schools, and they're fantastic. Oh, and two main uh, middle schools, and all of them have great reputations. The schools are just known to be great from the academics to the teacher involvement, parent involvement at most of them. Uh, some are known for more creative, you know, after school activities and creative classes. 
but for the most part, they all get great ratings. So there you have it, some pros and cons of Almond and Valley. I do love the community, so if you have any questions specifically about Almond and Valley, don't hesitate to reach out about any real estate thing, please. I'm here to be a resource for you. Uh, if you liked anything I had to say, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And until next time, have a great one. Thank you.